Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is sponsored by Dashlane. Thank you so much, Dashlane, for sponsoring this video. But I'm gonna start off by saying we made a pit stop. That actually is more or less, I, I came over to the man, the myth, the legend himself, the woodworking tool man. He's back over there. Look, yeah, oh, LFG. If you guys like any type of woodworking stuff, you guys gotta follow me, link down below. His name's old, like Lake Four guy. Now he's woodwork man. Just want everybody to know your behind the scenes outfit when you're not fishing is very, very dad like. Oh, hi, yes. Well, I'm soon to be a dad. <laughs> well, let me but tell you. I, I got something for you, though. I got something. God, yeah. you're sweaty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're sweaty. It's 11 out here. <laughs> they didn't have the ones I wanted to get, but I got you this. It's called a stinger. Acre. It's a zapper. It's an acre, acre and a half. It's not really a zapper. What's the, let's hear about it. It's tested and proved. I don't know. The lady told me this was the best one they had. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Let me give you a sweaty hug, man. Thank you. Thank, I love that. And then this one's for your baby's crib. I don't know. And oh. only 15 oh, by 15. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, it's but a this patio one's, shield. Yeah, this one's a, uh, I don't know. Mosquito killing items. I can't be happier. An acre and a half. Thank you. We need these at the treehouse. Yeah. For real. I kind of want to open it and see it. Dude, I wanted to get them like, they, this they make use. this big barrel thing like this that all the mosquitoes are supposed to go into, but they didn't have them there, so. So does it make that fun noise, you think? I don't know. I, I could have bought you one, but they were a lot cheaper. I don't think this one makes that kind of noise. Yeah, I didn't even tell you guys anything, but I mean, you probably got it from the title of the video. We're trying to make a $100 homemade kayak. I don't have a kayak right now because I actually gave it to a subscriber. Uh, he didn't have one, so I just kind of gave it to him. That was probably about four or five months ago. Hey, Steven, what do you think about it? Think it's easy? think a homemade kayak is feasible? Honestly, for me, no, but... Hey, we'll try it. Well, I got four inch pipes. It's the biggest that they had at. Uh, that's the only thing I'm worried about is the buoyancy of these pipes. I kind of eyeballed it and said, you know what, it might work. So I was worried about the buoyancy of a four inch pipe. So I got six cans of these to put three cans in each. Don't know if that's really gonna help, but what do you think? Fills gaps and cracks? What do you think, Steven? Yeah or nay? Should work. You think so? And these are for the ends. Look, I went with a rounded end, no drag, high speed, low drag. Two four inch pipes. They gotta be cut, these ones are gonna be cut. I'm gonna fill them with this, three cans in each for buoyancy. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. These go on the end, so on both ends. Okay, so now it's not gonna, it should float, correct? No? I mean, it's gonna look great. And instead of drilling holes into the pipes, these will go around and connect directly to the okay. Then we're gonna frame out an area in between the two, underneath, it comes up, see what I'm saying? And then strap them to that. All right, well, uh. You, yay or nay? Is this I, not I'm sounding? visualizing, it sounds like it's gonna be functional. It sounds like it's gonna be, gonna be functional. It's gonna be fun, especially okay. when you got, I don't know how many cans of this I, stuff. I don't know, I didn't really know. I, I do see one problem. Tell me. This stuff only works to 110 degrees. We're at only works to 110? We're at 112. Oh my god, it does say 110. You're gonna melt, fall apart. They're 10 footers. Okay, so it's 10 foot. So, how, do you think we should cut them down at all? I think we should leave them. Uh, 10 foot kayak, kind of short. Usually. Okay, then we'll just. I, I would probably we'll leave, leave them be. Them. Yeah. Okay, so we got these for the kayak. The inner frame. So we're so gonna stick. This is our this is our catamarans. Essentially, yes, it's a catamaran. So, so if we frame it up and we build a frame on the inside. I had just an envisioning an idea when we were driving back from the hog hunt the other night and I was like, I've got to make a homemade kayak. And the only thing I think of was framing up the inside of it, framing it up and then putting the platform on the frame. So basically building I'm thinking a floor, but stay, I don't know. Stay as high as you can because... So we got to come up some. Yeah, we got to come up some. Your butt is just going to be... Booty cheeks wet, are going to be in the water. But if you're up here, that, that might help you a little bit on the moistness. No one likes being moist. I mean, I don't mind it when it's 110, but, you know, if it's March, you're going after Mondo's. So, what you could do is drill, just drill holes. Could be a terrible idea, but we're going to go ahead and just roll with it. Putting holes into your kayak. We're just going to start with two. two. Oh, man. <laughs> My face on the other end, that was scary. <laughs> My bad. There it goes. Oh, it is going up. It is, yeah. Big time. Okay. So even if you have a hole, you won't have to worry. Because it's, yeah. it's like filling a fiberglass boat up. Really thick right there in that area. Thick as? You might want to drill another hole and then go go down the way. He didn't get the joke. 
thick as Cardi B. Cool right now, it's close. You think so? I think it's that boiling already? No, <laughs> Do you think this is actually making it more buoyant though? I don't see why not. Oh. I don't think you're supposed to inhale this stuff. I wonder what happens if we lit a match right there. I mean, probably shouldn't test it. So Rackley's got an idea. Uh, he wants to drill more holes into the four inch PVC pipe. Let's lay it down first. You want to lay it down? Yeah. Do you think it's actually going to float now that it's got filled with foam? So. so what are you thinking with this hole though? Okay, we're going to put two holes, one on each end. He's got holes again. Okay. That's gonna go with some bolts. Okay, to ratchet it down, essentially, with bolts. It's gonna, it's gonna be our starter holes, and then we're just gonna go screws all the way down. Cool. We're gonna line it up sense. with the lettering there. Okay, let's leave a little bit of play so we can put our, our cap, our cap on there. Oh yeah, we forgot about the cap. Maybe we should cap it off right now, huh? A little primer. Mm -hmm. Hit it with some grape juice. That cements a little. It's cementy. <laughs> It's a pretty cemented, yeah. I think we, we give it to Steve. See if you can do it, Steven. My hands are too big for this. Steven knows draw. Oh, come on. <laughs> now which way this is going to go so straight up? Yeah, it's supposed to deflect the water, you know what I mean? As mm -hmm. I'm cruising like 40. And... Mm, oh yeah, you going to put a motor on this? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with... Shove it in there good. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh! We could have used your driveway. <laughs> wow! How they came out there like a turd. It's because we didn't uh, we didn't glue the yep, end. Yep, I see that. <laughs> it just slid down there like a hot turd. <laughs> oh, that came out just like a turd. Okay, let me get that off real quick. Yeah, I don't even know how. You, what's the procedure on foam spillage? Did you guys see that thing come out of there like a turd? Just dang. This is working out really well, Rackley. Well, if you were wondering, it is not dry yet. Uh, oh look, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hey, this what are you thinking for a name for this vessel? <laughs> to go off like the current situation. <laughs> oh my god. Current situation, uh, utter mess. Utter, utter mess, failure, what are we doing with our lives? Turd bucket. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna complete this this little thing and then we're gonna do the other side as well as we just showed you, except for this time it's not gonna become a turd bucket of a mess. And uh, you know what? I'll catch you guys inside because I gotta I gotta I gotta do something in there and let this stuff dry out. So you guys remember I said at the very beginning of this video that this video is sponsored by Dash Lane. There's a reason why I am telling you guys about it. It is a very, very useful and secure system to store all your passwords and all your information. Because I'm telling you guys right now, between myself and like say Rackley and all the other guys, we have to remember like Instagram accounts, YouTube stuff, like even banking stuff, like everything you can possibly imagine, your Gmail accounts, all your every, all your email accounts for that matter, is stored on, on Dash Lane. So another good thing about this is it saves your information. So you guys don't ever have to fill out any more forms. You guys you know when you guys sign up for a new account or something, it automatically will fill it in for you. But everything is secure. I'm actually going to show you guys right now. I got like a demo account set up so you guys actually can see. I'm going to screen record it for you guys so you guys can see how easy it is to actually use it. And it'll tell you if your passwords are secure or not. So this is literally how easy it is. Dash lane, pop it up. It's, it's, it's an app. It's easy. Do you want to use allow it to use my face ID? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you want to use that? Boom, face ID done. Comes in. Email number one. Of course, this is a, an example account for you guys to see how easy it is. Click on it. Example. Password. Look. Do you see what it says? Example email at example.com tells you the password and if it's not safe or it is safe you guys can click on it and say it is not safe your password is weak and stuff. Anyway, that's a demo account. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this thing. It stores everything on your phone so you don't have to do anything. It's 100% secure. 100% secure. So you don't have to write down passwords anymore. So go ahead and click on the link at the very top of the bio and you guys can get this limited time offer. Click the link at the very top of the description and use this code right here. That is right. Use the code Lunkers and you'll save 10% off. I'm telling you guys, if you guys like secure, fast, easy, saves all your passwords to everything, you guys need to use it. Makes life 100% easy. Like, saves time. Let's go outside and we're going to check on, uh, on the old homemade yak situation. Oh, real quick, I just forgot about something. I really, really wish I had Dashlane like a year and a half ago when I got hacked. Do you guys remember that? Oh, oh, and also two years ago when I got hacked and put on the uh, Malaysian Airlines website. I don't know if you guys know that, but I was actually put on the Malaysian Airlines website when the plane went in the ocean as the guy that did it. I was up there for like 24 hours. It's pretty awkward. That's a true story. Um, did you know that? I didn't know yeah, that. I wish I had them back then. Yeah, I, yeah, I was hacked and they put my information as the guy that 
I did it and it was it was terrible. But I wish I had them back then and I also wish I had them probably about a year and a half ago when they were putting all that very, very bad stuff on my YouTube account. <laughs> so, so now that you guys know what I'm doing to uh, make sure that my passwords and everything stay safe and nice and succulent and inside of my control, Rack and I came up with the uh, the idea that instead of being, because mine I thought it was going to be more narrow, he's like, no, 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 no. My name is Rackley and I know, which I trust him. When he says he needs needs to be something, it's going to be two and a half feet wide, two by fours. I probably should have got like two by eights, but I didn't really think that one through. Chobi. This is the Chobi. The Chibobi. The Chobi. So we can sit. I mean. How can you paddle? Do you have clearance? You can, yeah, I think when, the thing is, I think I need to go get a seat. And we need more screws, huh? Yeah, so why don't you go get that? Okay. And uh, we'll finish framing this thing out for the. Easy enough. So we're not going to count this towards the budget. I just want to throw it out there. These are accessories, but I feel like they're needed. It added an additional, I think, uh, $38. So $38. $38. I got a seat, got a seat, a rod holder, and this little thing to put like pliers and whatnot. It's not needed. We're still at the $100 that we originally spent, but those are things you probably need in your life. We're gonna have a look look at that. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? I told you. I knew it was good. Oh, whoa, bad knee. Bad knee. He's only had like seven surgeries on that. Don't worry. It's, it's foam. It's foam. Nah, it's good. It's foam. So we're good. <laughs> Disclaimer. This is not an actual kayak. Don't make one of these. N not mine. Go search for a different one. This one's 100% probably not going to work. I mean, look at this thing. Sender. Okay, you hold, you hold those, I'll hold these. Oh, that is nice. See? We're going, we're going. Look at that. Rod storage. So we're just sitting here, just you know, just meandering on a big old body of water. Just I think I need to put a, uh, a foot thing right here. I think we need to have one right here, a little two by four yeah, right there. Absolutely. So I can really get it. And just... right, what do you think? What do you think? Here's your paddle. If I you mean, were to get a guess right now, do you think this is going to float? If we take this down, it's really heavy. That's the one. It's really heavy. I'm it's somewhat it's... worried. Do you think we're going to need one more third four inch pipe? You don't think so? You think it's going to float just I like think, this? I think you send it. Oh, we're sending it. And if, <laughs> if wow, it this is pretty go, heavy. Wow. Spray it. It's time to get this thing an actual full sand, and we're going to see if it actually floats. Steven doesn't think it is. He's 50 50. Rackley says kind of. I think yes. I got I, my plan in my head is shaped like the Titanic. It's long, it's narrow. That's what she said. And that's pretty much what's going to It's going to work. I promise you. I promise you. Actually, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, we almost died. <laughs> we need a paddle and. Do we have a paddle? Um, no big deal. No big deal. We don't need a paddle. Do we? We just need a life vest. Go ahead and toss them into the sky. Probably weighs a couple hundred pounds, huh? You think it's lighter than a hoe? Job is lighter than a hoe. You going that, this way or this way? Oh, uh, they go down there by that dock. Possibly. You think it's gonna work? Yay or nay? What are you thinking right now? I'll take that life vest for safety, 100%. What do you think? Think we're going in? Uh, at least it's hot, so if you do go in, I know, it's but this is, this is. We don't even have a paddle, so we're gonna be. I'll see if I can get over there. Where you over there? Don't be getting go, going too far, because <laughs> you're gonna end up. Me and me at Bay Lake. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm kind of excited. Slightly. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to, you want yeah. to just put her on here. Hold that real quick. Yeah. You, you want to gradually go in, There's, or do you want to? Yeah. Let's just gradually. Okay. Okay. Oh! She's floating right now, baby. Are you ready? What do you think? You think it's gonna withstand the weight? I thought it would get to this point. Okay. Now from here, I don't. know. How we doing? How we doing? We're not doing too good. 
Hold on. We're good. This has got to work. This has got to work. Something, something's not right here. What do we do? Balance. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you got to rebalance. Okay. So making kayaks is not that easy, I guess. It'll float. It'll float. It's not going to float. It's moving. It's, a... it's, it's, so what's the deal here? I, I have a solution, but you? we'd have to reconstruct. Let's go version two. Okay. I know it's probably eating you alive right now that you want to get this. Did you think it was going to do this? I, I thought, sure. it, okay. I'm telling you, I think the piping, I think we need them one in the middle. I think here's the Main voyage is, I mean, it floats. We've got something going here, ladies. After we fix it, look, it just needs a little bit more buoyancy. Here's what I'm also thinking. You do a small, like, three foot PVC piece, front and back in the middle, just boom, boom, like a nose and tail. You could even have, like, a rudder action back there. I mean, do you think we shouldn't give up, right? I'll drop it off at the treehouse. I'll, I'll rig you up something. On a good note, there's still one more thing I get to do today. So, um, when it's 110 out, guys, concrete does not cool down very quick. Don't have any shoes on. Hey, if you guys wanna go watch uh, Rathley fix this, he's gonna fix it, it's gonna work. It's got a weird hissing going on. Yeah. Lots of weird hissings. Uh, this is just, this was the main voyage of the Choby. The old Choby. I think it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. She's he's gonna fix horse. it, he's gonna fix it. If you guys wanna go watch him fix it, he will be linked down below. His name is Lake Fork Guy. He's been doing YouTube for about 14,000 years. I'm an old savvy vet. He is vet. the old savvy vet. All right, but on another note, I'm gonna go beep, 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 beep on his yard, because his yards, it needs it bad. Is this supposed to make that sound? No. Oh. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Not at all. While Rackley's doing that over there, I'm actually gonna beep his yard for a little bit, because right now it's a time check at 5 p.m., and making the drive from my house currently, or from Rackley's house to my house, would be, ab it would take forever because of traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead. He's got like an acre and a half or so. I'm just gonna go beep and I'm not gonna sit there and show you guys. If I find anything cool, then I will show you. Steven, enjoy yourself, buddy. All right, I'm gonna Don't go eat too many chicken wings. So after about an hour of uh, ding, 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 I did find some stuff that actually Rackley's gonna end up using. I found this copper, copper pipe right here look at that found that down there he was actually it did not look like this at all he came up here and he he grinded it on down and he's actually going to use it for this table rackley's into this like i said at the very beginning he's into like woodworking and stuff right now he's like like on it on it like i'm on this little beep, beep, beep thing but anyway he found that he's going to use it as a handle which is pretty neat i found that like way down there in the bottom of his yard and then i found all this stuff found my first belt buckle look at this found all this down in there so old pepsi top i mean not super crazy. That looks like a crimping on a pipe of some sort. Uh, old brass pipe or something, copper pipe or something. I don't really know. But I did find this, an old belt buckle. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna take that super treasure. No idea what that is, honestly. Uh, old shotgun shell. That's These are all Rackley stuff. The only thing I'm taking is this belt buckle. Found some stuff for like a TV. Old school Coke can, once again. This is when they came out with caffeine free. That's the new, new stuff. And uh, oh, I just found that, that's old piece of pottery. I don't know if it's old or not, but anyway, that's all Rackley stuff right here. This is pretty much, yeah, these are his treasures. Those are all Rackley treasures. What about this uh, shotgun piece? Um, Shell, no? Oh. Not cool enough? Maybe it was not. found in your rod, yeah. If I could like stamp it into the wood somehow, maybe. Okay, I'll just set it up right there. Probably not good for video. <laughs> Tone that down. Okay, well, there we go. This is the find of the day though. Other than that uh, copper piece for his, that he's gonna be using as a shelf. Polar outer Heck yeah, dude. dealio. With the old wood. That's gonna look clean. I mean, already brushed it. It's got that look. You'd have to pay high dollar to go get an old pipe with a rustic brushed look like that. We just did it in the yard. Just a couple dudes out here for, for nothing. Just having fun. Tool man, tool man McGee right here. Hey, I wanna be honest with you guys. This is that, that wood that came out of that old, the old slave quarters from Ryan's land and it looks it really does look really, it, it looks phenomenal. You did a good job, buddy. Thank you, man. You really we're did a good turn job. Turn it into something beautiful. He did a fantastic job. But Rackley and I were actually just having a discussion about where we should go fishing because it's going to be like 105 plus in Texas. But he's thinking about taking a trip. He has not told me exactly where yet. Um, so I don't think he actually knows. But we're contemplating taking a trip. So I don't, I don't, I don't think he knows. But it's going to be somewhere good. Fishing and eating. That's generally what we like to do. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. He's going to fix a kayak. If you guys want to see 
the homemade kayak gets fixed, go ahead, Lake Fort Guy, type it in or check the link down below. He'll be typed in. It'll say, follow Lake Fort Guy, that gentleman right there. But you guys know the deal. Thanks for hanging out. Go and check out the sponsor of the video. I want to say thank you to them one last time. Thank you so much. I love you. He's back there just getting it. So, hey. You guys know to do it. Click that video right there and there. Seen that one? Hey, click the one right below if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there. Do it. Pieces. I love those. Thanks for hanging. And I'm about to do it there. Ah.